All right, what is going on guys? We're back and today I'm doing another Q&A or Q&A part two. So basically, if you guys don't know what a Q&A is, it's a question and answer. Basically, I'm answering the questions you guys leave me in the comment section of my YouTube videos. So let's get right into the questions. And again, in this video, I won't be saying anyone's full name. I'll just be saying their first name, um, you know, just for reasons if they don't want their name spread about. But yeah, let's get right into the question. What do you think of the time? What do you think about the timeless? Uh, you guys know what the timeless is? I'll pull a picture right there. It's a new storm bowling ball that they're coming out with. It looks really nice to me, but what ends up happening is they're actually taking away the high road out of the storm line, which I think is really stupid. But it also makes me kind of think the timeless is going to be very similar to the high road. So I might get it. I might not. It's a good ball. It looks pretty nice. Bowling Master asks. Do you think the Columbia 300 Impulse is a good ball? I do think the Columbia 300 Impulse is a good ball. I think it's a great ball. I feel like it tops a lot of the stuff that Storm has these days. I feel like it tops a lot of the stuff Columbia has these days. Um, it's an awesome ball. It's got a really nice back end. It's very reliable, and I like it a lot. Alright, Tom asked, Logan, what do you think about using a 15-pound dumbbell for the exercise that you use the bowling pin? Now, if you guys know what I'm talking about, he's talking about the thing I used in my uh, easy and home bowling drills. I used the bowling pin because I didn't have like a football or a tennis ball or anything I could use at the time. And bowling ball, I guess, is the first thing that came to me, but I guess the dumbbell could work, but it's a bit, I mean, I, I guess it could work. Just make sure really let gravity do it and not pull it up, because that'd be weird, and you're not doing the exercise correctly. Young Savage asks, what editing software do you use? I use QCut Pro on mobile, because I don't have a computer to edit on. I'm currently saving up for one, and hopefully then I can get Final Cut Pro. That should be awesome. But yeah, I use QCut Pro for all of my editing, and I'll occasionally switch over to iMovie if I don't want to do, like, some really complex editing iMovie's a bit easier if you're looking for that. QCut's a little bit more advanced. But, I mean, I guess if I were to pick one or the other, I'd say QCut Pro. Just gotta get used to it. It's really cool. You can do a lot more stuff when, than you can with iMovie. Um, Glorious asks, which balls are you using? He's talking about my bowling balls, or she's talking about my bowling balls. And it's in my first time back video, and I believe I was throwing my Columbia 300 Impulse and my Tyrant. Correct me if I'm wrong, I believe so. Not exactly sure, um, but yeah, those are the balls I was using. Uh, Lewis asks, uh, what weight do you use, Logan? Um, the weight I use is 14 pounds because I can throw 15, but I choose not to because I'd rather have control over that one pound of weight to get a little bit better carry. Um, I'd rather have control in my shot, personally, but I guess it's up to you, whatever you want to do. Shimanti asks, do you use the thumb slug for curving? This is actually a very frequent question that I get about my thumb slug. And I guess I'm going to kind of answer a couple of them all at the same time. Um, so the thumb slug, for those of you who don't know, so that the sound, is a... So it's basically a one... I basically have one thumb hole for all five of my bowling balls. And what I do is I have it so my thumb hole feels the same in every ball. And I don't have to maybe adjust how I put my thumb in the ball for some balls. And it feels the same, which means my shot will be the same every single time. The thumb slug, what a lot of people don't know, is it doesn't help me hook the ball or anything. It doesn't help me do anything special. It's just so I can get the same feel in my thumb hole for each shot. Uh, Jacob asks, what is the music? Now, he's talking about the music I used in my Logan vs. Charles. I'd go watch that video. It's a really good one. Uh, but I was using something by NCS. Go look them up. They're uncopyrighted and they're on copyrighted music and it's really good, it's really good for background and I'd probably be using NCS in the background of this video anyway. Young Savage again asks, what ball does Brandon throw? He's talking about the, I know, probably probably really blows your mind here, but he's talking about the episode Logan vs. Brandon. Um, I believe Brandon in this episode was using a hammer taboo, and if I'm wrong it was a Brunswick Nirvana, but I'm very sure it was a taboo. Um, taboo, taboo, it's a blue one, I don't remember which like what the name for that one is i just know it was a taboo cj asks hey logan i bowl my first tournament this sunday any advice just go into it don't try to be don't try to be too nervous it's your first tournament don't expect anything crazy um just kind of bowl it and learn from it that's what you do with the first one you don't ever go into a first tournament thinking oh man i'm gonna kill it no just go into there bowl your best and kind of learn and see what other people around you are doing with the oil patterns how they adjust and everything and then just kind of go on from there Cube Stacker asks, weren't you on Disney Channel? I was never on Disney Channel. I think you're thinking about Cameron Doyle, who's now a lot older. He was on Disney Channel, I believe. Uh, yeah, I wish I was. I wish I was on Disney Channel, but no. All right, guys, well, that wraps up for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to comment down more questions for me, as well as video ideas, future video ideas I will be coming out with. And make sure to hit that subscribe button if this is the first time you're seeing me. And, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys next one, next time.